Now today we're talking about taurine, and taurine is a very powerful sulfur-containing amino acid. It's one of the essential amino acids that your body needs in order to perform the way it's designed to. And this, not, this section right here might not only um, change your outlook or your perspective or your results when it comes to strengthening your heart, especially if you have an arrhythmia, but it might impact your dog as well. A lot of dogs end up with enlarged hearts, and this is one nutrient that they oftentimes don't get enough of. When humans can have the same problem. When it comes to electrical problems, this is an absolute must to get in. Or if you do have an enlarged heart, this would be something to really look at. Now, taurine itself strengthens the heart muscle, and it helps the heart to contract properly. Hence why we have an enlarged heart, because the, the heart is having to overwork or it's, it's uh, imbalanced. And then arrhythmias are causing the heart to contract um, in an abnormal manner. So taurine helps it to support to get it back in the rhythm. Now, it balances the sodium potassium balance in your body, so this does impact fluid retention. I talk a lot about this, there's several videos on this channel about how important your sodium and potassium balance is in your body, and that we're getting way little potassium, and we're not getting enough clean, healthy sources of sodium. We're getting processed salt, but we're not getting real salt like Celtic or Himalayan. So check those videos out to dig deeper in. Um, if you wanna know more about that, um, uh, in the comment below, say yes, and we'll give you some more um, info about sodium and potassium. But taurine is a, a big modulator and regulator of that entire process. It increases circulation, it stabilizes your blood pressure, uh, reduces your stress response. So taking some taurine might just take the stress not only mentally, but off of your heart as well. Uh, if you have heart spasms, I get a lot of patients clinically that have a clinical or like a kind of a flutter in their heart, or they can feel the spasms and contracting in there. You might be lacking taurine. That might be the very thing that's causing it. And taurine is extremely important. If you have any form of an arrhythmia, this is one nutrient I would get in right away for yourself and for your dog. Uh, to, the way to get it in, to get a lot of extra taurine, is you could look at meat sources as well as seafood, especially shellfish. Now, you gotta watch toxicity levels when it comes to clams and shrimp and scallops because they're bottom feeders, so they tend to eat whatever's left over, which is usually garbage, so they're not the cleanest of foods. Um, your meats, but it's harder to, you know, you don't wanna overeat meats, um, but getting them grass-fed and free-range and natural is definitely the way to go. Um, you can get some of those. Uh, with it, but taurine, you may consider supplementing with it because those amino acids, yes, are found in meat products, but especially if you're a vegetarian, I would strongly consider supplementing with taurine because you have to get these amino acids in or you're potentially putting your heart at risk. Now, oftentimes, depending on what type of food that you feed dogs, they typically eat just one type of meal all the time. So they're relying on the nutrients that are in that one brand of food that you buy and it might not be strong in the taurine department. And this is why we see a lot of dogs with enlarged hearts or heart problems or heart arrhythmias just like humans do. So the regimen for yourself and your dog is actually pretty similar and it's all just based on weight and how much you could consider taking on a daily basis. I would suggest taking five to 10 milligrams of taurine for every 10 pounds of body weight that you have. I think the easiest way to do it is in a powdered form. I can give you more information on where you can get a healthy, clean source of that, but strongly consider it, especially if you're an arrhythmia patient, heart patient, if you're concerned about having an enlarged heart right now or a family member that has it, or if your pet has that same thing, help them out, supplement with some taurine, and eat some healthy meats to help get it into the system. Your heart will thank you for it. If you like this, comment below. Let us know what else you need help with. And if the dogs benefited from it, leave me a dog emoji down below or something. Say bow wow, whatever you want to do. I thought I'd throw the pets in and not leave our furry friends behind, especially when it comes to heart health. If there's more things you want questions on or need help with, let me know. I'm here to help you experience real health.